All yeah. right. Bob Baloney from MyMMANews.com. And today I have the privilege once again talking to Dennis the Great Bozucha. Dennis is fighting in the main event coming up for a title. And Dennis is has been on the Contender Series. And it's just a matter of time till he reaches his goal of the UFC. But I'm thankful he's given me a few minutes today. Before we even talk about the fight, Dennis, man, how's life treating you? Talk, you were just in Abu Dhabi with the champ and your team. Talk to me a little bit about life and your experiences the last couple of months because you, even though you're not in the UFC, you've been living that life with your teammates, and it's, it's, it's got to be a beautiful uh, thing that you're doing. Yeah, man. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, life has been great, man. The last few months, I went on Contender. I went out to Albania. I went to Italy after came back, went to Vegas to help Aljo with his camp, came back here. Then we went to Dubai for two weeks and then Abu Dhabi. Uh, now I'm back and it's showtime. But yeah, like you said, I've been kind of living that UFC fighter life. I didn't really think about it like that until you just said it. But I guess I've been living the life the guys live. Uh, you know, I, I look at it as just training every day and doing what I love to work and be the best. And then you know, this, this stuff all comes with it. I never really thought about it like that. It never really came that way, but yeah, life has been good, man. You know what, where you train at with, with those guys too. I mean, it isn't like you're just training with those guys. That's kind of almost like your extended family. I mean, anytime, you know, I see, you know, um, anytime I see Merab or, or Aljo on, on, you know, social media or TV, I'm saying Dennis is like their main training partner. He's right there with them. Talk to me a little bit about the, your relationship with those two, because listen, they're the, the best in the world. That's got to really mean a lot to you, not just for your fighting career, but for them to take that, you know, to, to love you like a brother. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Uh, it's really, we've kind of condensed it to a small group. It would be mostly like me, Aljo, and uh, Murad. And then we'll get like the Lemmy in there. Or if we're out in Vegas, we had like JP Bias is another UFC fighter. So we would just like condense the training to our small group and really just beat the shit out of each other until we get better and stronger and just keep leveling each other up. So the fact that I have literally the two best in the world, like the UFC champion, multiple time champion defending his belt and Marab, who's just a monster. It's like to have these guys as my main training partners and in my corner and behind my back. And I have their backs. It's like for anybody to beat me, like this guy, for example, for him to beat me, he's gonna. It feels like he has to beat them too, you know. So they, they're like my, they're my rocks when I'm like a little bit nervous, or you know, feeling some pressure or whatever. But they, I look to them for confidence and for, for like support. Listen, let's talk about this fight because Carmo, Boy Carmo, has won, I think, three in a row now, and his last fight is against. Somebody who I know that you're super close with. Um, uh, did you? He beat Vilsen Drogoni, a fellow Albanian, and I, someone who I know that is, you know, another brother of yours. Did you talk to Vilsen? Talk to me about, you know, this fight and how you see it, because you, your preparation, obviously, at this point right now, has to, you know, be still be great, even if it's a regional fight. You still have to have all that detail. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, if you talk to Vilsen about him and how you see this fight. Yeah, I was actually at that fight. Uh, I wanted to go support Wilson there. Uh, you know, the guy's good. He's tough. He has. He's good in his in what he does. Uh, but that night, Wilson like was going through a lot. You know, people don't really realize the behind the scenes stuff. Like his dad had just passed away. He had so many fights canceled. Like it was a lot going on with him. So uh, we talked a little bit about the fight. You know, like I just know he wasn't really feeling good. The guy's obviously good. Uh, my opponent, he's obviously good if he was able to beat Wilson. So I respect him. But, you know, the other interviews I've done, like the guy asked me, is this like a different fight because there's a belt on the line? But regardless, if nothing's on the line or the belt and millions is on the line, I'm always going to treat it like it's everything is always on the line for me. It's always the biggest fight. I'm always going to train as hard as I can. I'm always going to go as hard as I can in the fight. I'm going to leave it all out there. So whether it's a fight with the guy from Starbucks or a, a UFC championship fight, I'm always going to give it 100%. Have you been able to, when you do, do go to the UFC events, have you been able to reach out with your, with your and, and grab some relationships and talk to some people and, you know, 
because listen, you know it that as well as I do. You have those guys pulling for you, but a lot of times there's so many fighters that want to get to where you're getting. So has it helped you being in that atmosphere? Maybe saying, "Hey, Dana, try to get you know your face." Listen, you want to get your face out there. That's that's part of the game. You know what I mean? People, you want people to know you. UFC is about ratings and about exciting fights too. So have you been able to like do any behind the scenes stuff when when you're there, whether it's in Vegas or wherever you're at? Uh, I mean, it's cool, like, to see the guys. Like, Shelby knows who I am. Uh, you know, my managers have talked to him about me. He knows my face. He knows my name. So I don't really like to be a kiss-ass. You know, I'll see them. I'll say hi and everything. But really, the ultimate thing is just go out there and knock these guys the fuck out. And eventually, that call is going to have to come. So I, right now, it's just about taking care of business Saturday. And then if it's not this one, it's the next one. And if it's not that one, it's the next one. I'm going to keep just going all out and keep winning these fights until I'm in that league. Awesome. Well, listen, I talked to Armando earlier, your Al other Albanian brother. He's yeah. fighting on Friday night. You're fighting on Saturday night. Nothing. Thank you for giving me some time. I know it's it's been super busy for you all now. The further you go, the more, you know, the more, the more people want to talk to you. Give out some love or some shout outs before we go. Dennis Bazucha fighting for the title. At, and like I said, it's just a matter of time to you know, seeing him, him on the UFC. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, good luck to Armando, too. He's fighting. I think Lenny's also fighting soon. So good luck to them, These are my Albanian brothers. And then Wilson is also fighting in December. So we got a whole lineup, but Armando's going to spark it off Friday. I'm going to keep it going Saturday night. So, you know, I'm proud of all the guys putting in work. And I just got to say thank you to my team. You know, Sarah Longo is the best team. My family, uh, my girlfriend, you know, she does like, she helps me a lot behind the scenes. My sponsors like Guzmend and Linde, Stonecastle, um, you know, OnlyFans, G Fuel now, uh, Halloween Records. There's so many people that help me behind the scenes. I'm just thankful for all of them. Uh, and I feel like I'm I'm going to forget so many other people that helped me. There's, it's just, I could sit here all day and just talk about the people that helped me. You know, I'm just so grateful for them all. And, uh, you know, I just, I just, I'm happy to go out there and give it everything and make them proud. Well, thank you, Dennis, for letting me, you know, help tell the next chapter of your journey. I know the journey has a long way to go. I'm a fan and I'm a friend and I, I thank you again. Best of skills. Final weight cut is nothing. You're a veteran now to be a piece of cake and uh, go do your thing. And let's next time we're talking, I'm hoping it's ta we're talking about, you know, that big contract that you're signing because it's going to come to you. You've worked hard for it and you deserve it. God willing, man. Thank you. I appreciate that.